Hello, Capricorn. It's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, so uh, some third party situations going on, possibly, or it could be somebody is like trying to get in there. Okay? Ugh. All right, but it's my lady from the Ladies Week here, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading from October 23rd through the 30th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. Okay, let's get this show on the road. All right, so it's... Some secrets coming out, and I feel like this is still related to that third party situation or the um, just the third party trying to get into what's going on, get into your relationship. Maybe you're thinking about somebody else, or somebody else is thinking about you, but or trying to get in between you and your relationship. All right, let's go. What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn. October 23rd through the 30th. October 23rd through the 30th. Capricorn, 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 love reading, Capricorn, love reading, Capricorn, love reading. Okay, so I'm feeling like whatever you think about, I'm feeling like the, that, the side person is not who they really are. They're um, acting like they're um, nicer or better or cooler than what they are. Oh, Jesus. All right, so seems like um, general reading so it can go either way, but I'm going to read it like this. Seems like um, you maybe let somebody might have let you go because maybe you were too far away, or you just wouldn't open up and let them in because you had too much baggage, or you wouldn't let them in because they had too much baggage. But it seems like yeah, somebody was trying to open their heart. The other person wasn't. I feel like this is. I mean, this relationship it was only like three months, or they just been like cold for the last three months. And it seems like this person feels like you're emotionally draining because you try to manipulate them all the time or you're always manipulating them. But this could be both ways. It don't just have to be one way. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, so it seems like, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm sort of starting to feel like this might be the third party, but they're trying to get you to sacrifice something and I feel like you're not willing to. Okay. Capricorn, 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 love reading. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, so seems like somebody is breaking somebody's boundaries. Okay, so you could be doing this to somebody else or somebody else could be doing this to you or you guys could be doing this to each other. Okay, so it seems like in this relationship, everybody feels like they deserve everything, you know? Okay, but there are some secrets. Let's see what these secrets are for the Capricorn. What are these secrets for the Capricorn? October 23rd through the 30th. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What are these secrets? October 23rd through the 30th, 2017. Mm. Okay, so... It seems like, it seems like you guys may be together all together or just you are with this other person because they're sexually attractive, okay? I don't feel like there's nothing else. Nothing else you want there. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay. I don't know, right? The Sirens card, I feel like you feel like they're sexually attractive. They just talk too much and you really don't care for that because you don't. They don't have anything that you want to hear. That's what I'm feeling. I mean, I'm feeling you feel like they got a bird brain. Okay. All right. Yeah, so this person, I feel like they may be trying to move in with you. They're trying to move in with you. Yeah. Or just move closer to you or they want you to move closer to them. Okay, you possibly could work with this person or this person got two people like talking mad crap about you. Like you should stop talking to him or her because, you know, they don't, you know, 
want you for you. You know, they, I feel like it might be like some light insults, but I don't feel like it's like big time. Okay. Okay. So they are trying to probably protect you because this third party thing too, or protect you from this third party, but this could be you with a third party or somebody else also. But, um, that I feel like since this is reversed, their friends are telling you, I mean, telling them, their friends are telling them that they need to uh, stop dealing with you because you got somebody else, okay? <laughs> All right, so yeah. Uh, that third party sacrifice they're getting you trying to get you to make but you're not you're not you don't want it you know I'm, I'm not about to do it you know because you only want sex from this person or this person only wants sex from you so they're not willing to get get rid of whatever they have all right so uh close off with my Cleo cards and I like to read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message all right what's going on with the Capricorn 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 love reading Capricorn love reading October, October, October 23rd, this 30th, 2017, 23rd. Alright, so it seems like somebody is on and off, ready for battle, and then not. Like somebody keep making a choice to leave and make a choice to stay. You know, somebody just borderline of what they want to do in this relationship. You know, and I feel like this is what's keeping this third person alive because they act like they're going to go over there, but they don't. You know, it's just a bunch of back and forth, okay? All right. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Ooh. So, yeah, somebody wants to start a new beginning, but it's unsuccessful. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a bunch of choices to make here. Mm, but I already feel like you made up your choice. You know you want to stay home. All right, sorry. Capricorn, Capricorn. <laughs> not traveling, not moving. Yep. Uh, love offers turned down. Okay. So, yeah, somebody's being pretty deceitful. So you might be dealing with an air sign. What else do I see? All I see is air signs. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But general reading, it can be anybody. So I'm going to read these straight out the book. We start with the Seven of Cups, okay? So the Seven of Cups says, Be very careful of making mistakes. A good choice is hidden by many other bad choices. Do not fool yourself with unreal dreams. Take the best and most solid um, choice. So the seven of, um, what was that? Seven of staffs um, came up before this. And that's basically like you going back and forth about somebody that you want to um, be with. Like, do I want to be at home or do I want to be with the sad thing? And it's basically here saying just the, most solid choice that's where you should go all right so we got the knight of staffs reversed knight of staffs it says uh severing of connections emotional or physical separation so this makes me feel like um maybe both of you guys are gonna cut off from each other i'm talking this i feel like this is related to the side person I feel like you guys may stop talking because you see or they see you're not leaving. The, the side piece understands that they won't be chosen, so they want to sever the connection. And you know that you want to stay at home with your husband or your wife, and you're like, we got to cut this off. You're trying to get serious, and that's not what I want. Okay? So we got the Knight of Cups. Oh, well, that's, that was the Knight of Cups. Nope, that wasn't. All right, so the Knight of Cups is facade, fake smoke, mirrors, and distraction. Yeah, I feel like that's when you just trying to make this person believe that you're going to be with them. But you see this person wants you to give up your group, your life, and you don't understand that. You're like, you already knew what this was. Why would you think that I would give you any more, you know? Oh, okay, so we got the... Uh, 
the King of Swords reversed. So this is cruel nature, insensitivity, and a hidden agenda. So I feel like the hidden agenda here is you want to keep them both. It's like you're trying to pacify two babies in two different rooms. It's not going to work out that well. But I don't know. The choice is yours. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.